Hello everyone to tapinfo.com and today we are have an interesting topic as you can see in the background itself we are going to make a speedometer chart today and before we move uh, further before we proceed i would uh, remind you that who am i i am ritesh and let me tell you that i have also started uh, almost completed the tableau beginner course material along with the videos so you can go to my website and you should be able to find the same do share that with the other folks who are into tableau it might help them as well subscribe now to my channel if you have not subscribed yet don't miss to hit the bell icon and never miss any other update so today we are going to talk about tableau advanced tableau visualization speedometer chart we will introduce it and while we try to understand we will have to encounter other problems as well and that is good because you will able, you will be learning more stuff like background images how to map axis and little bit of refresh of trigonometry functions as well little bit of mathematics as well so this is the refresh time let us start with the mathematics or say trigonometry refresh as where you have sine of minus theta is equal to minus sine theta cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta tan of minus theta is equal to minus tan theta i'm telling you this because we will be making use of the same and it will be easier for you to understand the graphical representation of a speedometer chart behind the scene and before the image just remember that before you uh, think before you think of inserting the background image you should know that you are going to plot that against the x or y axis fair enough so in this case we are going to plot that against two calculation one for x axis and the other another one for the y axis so we are going to talk about these calculations but before that let me tell you that you can make use of any available speedometer type image if you don't have the easier way is to you know take top of screenshot of any donut chart so that would help as well tricky but useful so let, let us go back to the worksheet uh, so that we can understand from this scratch let us try to understand the data set first in order to understand the data set uh, we'll have to view data and now here you can see we have different countries over there and at the same time there is one dummy row at the top the first row where you have country as dial and row type as dial why we are doing that uh, i'll show you when we create this from the scratch so basically we have countries and sales and budget sales and we want to see the performances of different countries with respect to budget sales and sales for example here, if I say France, it's on the negative sign. So remember that this is the reference. If it is going like this, this is negative. If it is moving like this, this is positive. Here you can see x coordinate is on the negative side. But then if I take you to a more refined, okay, this is the destination actually. So this is our requirement, and uh, you can see a couple of filters over there like country filter. Here we have country filter where we say that country is equal to country parameter that means we have a parameter as well where we have different countries so we are making use of this parameter and we have this calculation so why we have this calculation so basically the line that cool line that is moving here and there that is because of two points actually these are two points actually if i turn this to circle now you now you understand so one point will be static one dial the dummy row if you remember the first row this is the static point while the other one other points would be variable because we will be making use of country parameter to make our visualization more interactive so as i change my country you can see this is the static will remain there but this will change according to the country and that's why we are making use of this calculation to include both the points fair enough so we have this one we have parameter we have row type but if you remember so we are making use of row type as well then dial country dial 
this is helping us to create this path this line this path the best way to learn is to do and do it from the scratch so first of all I'll just kick out this image so that I can show you from the scratch so we don't have anything now we only have x coordinate y coordinate let me swap this to make more sense so we have x coordinate but you need to understand the x coordinate and y coordinate remember that the if part for both the calculation of x and y coordinate are same so that means we want to if the attribute of row type is equal to dial we want x and y coordinate as 0 and 0 that makes sense because yes every time whenever there is row type dial we want that point as x and 0 this is our origin so first half is easy to understand but the second one let us try to understand the second part as well the second part says sine of says uh, divided by budget says divided by budget is nothing but sum of sales divided by sum of budget sales so if our sum of sale and budget sale if that is coming as one that means sales is equal to budget sum of sales is equal to budget sale if it is equal to one then what will happen one minus one that is zero that else part will become sine of zero which is zero in order to understand this maybe we can take example of us because this is perfect because for this it is almost one sales by budget is one that means this ratio is almost equal to one minus one is almost equal to zero and sine zero is almost equal to zero itself so that's why you see the x coordinate as zero over there and cos of zero is one and cos of almost zero will be almost one that is 0.999 so that's why this is this positive will move like this negative will move like this so this is how the this calculation is working if we talk about x axis it is zero but y if we talk about the y axis it will be almost cos zero that is means almost one so that's why your y is one over there so that's how the calculation is working but if I go to France, go to means with this speedometer only, I am not with the flight. So if I go to France, what will happen? What is happening over there? Did you notice? With France, it is going on the left hand side, so minus theta, like this. Why minus theta now? And what will happen if we have minus theta? So again, we'll have to go back to our refresh time. Sine of minus theta. Is equal to minus sine theta cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta so that will be applicable over here that means my x coordinate that is the calculation let me go back to the x coordinate sine of minus something you know minus of say minus 90 is minus sine 90 that is minus 1 i'm just giving you one example so here we'll be having minus because why will have minus over here because sales by budget is 0.7391 and 0 0.7391 minus 1 will become minus that means you have sine something some value is there out of sine but that is equal to minus sine of theta and that's why you see so that's why you are moving this side x is minus right and y again if you go back cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta itself again with respect to the calculation it will come as minus cos minus theta here as well but since cos of minus theta is plus cos of theta so that will remain up only y coordinate will be plus 0.9476 so this is the way these calculations are working over there so now we understand the calculation as well let us go back and try to insert the image uh, this is a tricky part as well you know sometimes it works sometimes it won't work i hope it works and let me tell you this is not my first video hope it works so left x coordinate under x it should be x you know that was a mistake i did last time minus 1.5 let me give so that it can accommodate the image properly bottom okay say minus 0.15 and top it will say 1.5 apply this 
you will face problem initially don't worry mm, let me check once again x coordinate x under x y under y bottom there is a size problem over there so we will have to fix the x and y coordinate as well so y coordinate it should be like minus 0 0.10 plus 1.6 x coordinate would be remember we did minus 1.5 over there to say minus 1.6 plus 1.6 oh my god it is coming up I can't believe it it has come up I would say show header show header show parameter say country filter say true row type is size this should be like line and path now this is the magic moment will it work it is working it is working just working so I already talked about all uh, these things row type so that's why I'm just dragged and dropped I hope it helped and I'll make ensure that you get the proper data set and after that you can follow this very very, very particular video and uh, complete your speedometer this is Ritesh from tableauinfo.com this is this was my third video man. so you'll have to share and subscribe <laughs> I have to like this video this is my third video i i'm not good at edi editing so i need to learn that part right anyways thanks everyone take care bye, -bye.